If you're making digital files to sell on Etsy or Creative Fabrica, you can actually make editable PSD files. And so these are Photoshop files with the PSD extension. And here's an example of one. And here's the problem you can run into. This font that I'm using, I'm going to click on the little T here so you can see, is called White Chalk Font. This font is not readily available to everybody in the world. It's not doesn't come standard with Windows. When my customer purchases this template, this PSD file, they open it up in Photoshop, they're not going to see what I see. What they're going to see instead, they're going to see something like this, which is certainly not the best looking font in the world. I mean, there's nothing wrong with it, but it's just pretty basic. It's called Sego UI, and it's just the default that Windows has. So if you're using a computer with minimal fonts, Windows is going to substitute in this font. Hmm. So how can you guarantee that your client is going to be able to use the font because you can't sell fonts unless you have a commercial license for it. Well, I've got a solution for you in this video. Let's jump in. Did you know Google has their own fonts page? It's called Google Fonts. There's over a thousand fonts on this website. They're all completely free to use. I absolutely love the interface. Everything on here that you're seeing is completely free. Now, not only can you use these for, say, print on demand or your own website, but you can actually include the font itself in the digital bundle. And that's huge. Now, I love the interface on here. Like everything else Google does, it seems to be super intuitive to use. So right here at the top, you can type a sentence in here. So for example, I'm going to type in my name right there. And we can also change the font size. So you can see very quickly if the font is going to work or not for whatever it is that you're working on. Now, there's a ton of fonts on here, like literally like over a thousand. There's close to, I think, 1500 fonts or so, 1400 plus. So you got to really like look through them all. I don't see an easy filter system in here, except for up at the top, they've got languages and they've got categories and they do have five categories. So for example, you could look at serif fonts only. You can also go sans serif, which means no serif, and that gets you a little more standard, like modern looking fonts. So that's really the only way I've found that you can sort of sort, but that's okay. I mean, it's kind of fun to look through all these different fonts and see what there is. So one thing I really like here is that it tells you if there's a variable type of font or if there's minimal styles or if there's lots of styles. So here's a great example. Meriwether Sands is variable. Abril Fat Face is only one style and M plus rounded is seven styles. So I'm going to click on this one here with seven styles. And we can see here, it's now going to give us options. There's thin 100, light 300, regular 400, and it goes on and on. This is all part of a font family. So there's similar styles. So if you were making, say, a poster, and you wanted to have similar fonts, but some were lighter text and some were darker text, bold you know, and lighter, what you can do now is you can download all of this at once. So I'm going to use this font, this M plus rounded 1C. And when I click Download Family, it's going to give me back a zip file. I'm going to save the zip file. And now in Windows Explorer, here I've got a zip file that I can simply open. And we can see there's all the different true type fonts now that pop up. I simply double click it. It's going to open up and then I can click the install button. Another thing I could do is I could just simply highlight them all. So I'm using the shift key to hold them down. And then I can just right click and I can open them. That'll open all the fonts and I can take a look at them and I can go through them and double check them. Now you can't install from a zip file, but what you can do is copy them and then move them into your folder, paste them, and now you've got them sitting outside of the zip file. You can highlight them all and then you can simply right click and you can install. So here's an example of what the bundle would look like. I'd have my JPEG file and my PNG file. I might have an EPS file in there. You could also have a cutting file like a DXF file. And then I have my actual Photoshop file as well that I would include. And that's the editable piece. And then I would actually include whatever font I'm going to be using in the design. I would include that as a bundle as well so that the client can also get basically a free gift with purchase, which is the font. I absolutely love using Google Fonts. They're super easy to download and they're super easy to preview as well. If I click on something, I can check it out. I can make the fonts bigger, smaller. I can even go up here to this type tester and I can type in fonts. I can even change the way if it's italicized or not. You can change the weight on things. There's all sorts of neat things you can do inside this thing. Now, I'm just talking here about digital designs, but if you're using this for a website, it can be really cool as well.
Okay, I really hope that you found this video helpful. Well over a thousand fonts, there's like 1400 fonts here. You can spend the rest of your life looking at fonts. And you know, I think this is a great option for people selling a digital designs. I'd love to hear your feedback and if you found this helpful, here's another video on how you can supercharge selling digital designs. I really appreciate your time, happy creating.